Okay, so today we're going to talk about a very interesting subject, light field uh, technology, light field products. Um, light field um, allows you to take your 3D creations and see them in 3D. Typically, we see them in like a video, but these devices let you see it in 3D. And recently I saw a presentation and let's go to the other scene on um, actually this device, which is essentially a holographic picture frame. And then they have bigger ones for business uses. Um, and uh, it's very interesting. And you can see what it can do. But... Um, it is strictly a device for, the, for t you. They do have tools to take what you have and put it on the device, turn it into a format to go on the device, but it is strictly a display device. And um, I was then introduced to something very interesting called the loom pad. The loom pad is also a device that can display 3D. However, it's, a, it's also an Android tablet, so it can do normal Android tablet stuff. And let me show you, um, well, before I do that, let me bring it up so you can actually see something. Um... So let me bring it up where you can see it. I'm going to switch back to me here. And this is the loom pad. So you see, it looks like an Android tablet, but it is. A, it, oh, and I should also point out while I'm showing to you that it has a, a 3D camera right on the back. And it'll allow you to display your 3D work. Let's say you've made a video of your 3D work in 2D, which I have. You can use this application. Let me show you um, right here. And what you would do is you would browse your file. And in this case, I'm going to go, I have a file called, let's say, Flame right here and I would select it convert and it would then convert it we already have I already have this file converted they also do stereo content like something you would set up for the oculus rift where you side by side and orbital that's the 360 so this can do all that kind of stuff for you um once you have it, you have to get it into the device. And there is a USA, USB-A to USB-C cable, USB-C cable that you plug in. And once you do that, it's very important that you look at your, that you go on your device, a little pop-up's going to happen, and you need to press the button. You need to select um, transfer files. So once you can do that, once you do that, what's going to happen is you're going to have the file system and it shows up kind of in a weird spot, like in um, alphabetical order, not at the bottom where you normally see all your other drives. So then you can get your shared memory. You can, I typically put it in download and as you can see, flame is already there. So now you have flame that. Now, Loom, Loom Pad, let me go back here, has a bunch of um, apps that you can see right here. Uh, I also got the case, which I recommend to protect your device. And what you can do, and one, one of those apps, you can, again, you can use this as a regular Android tablet when you're not looking at 3D one of the apps is called Lay a Player. And um, let's see, it should come up. 
Yeah. So let me show you. When you play, go back to the beginning. When you play, and I don't know how well you'll be able to see, but you can see it. Uh, you can't see much because it's reflected on everything. Um, but uh, it will actually play the thing back. And and it looks like it's jumping out of the screen. And they have a whole bunch of content here. Let's see. There's a whole bunch of 3D content that you can look at. You can use pictures, videos, and like I said, depending on how you want to do it, you can um, you can bring in all kinds of content. Most interestingly, of course, is if you want to bring in um, your existing uh, content. Well, sorry, you make a 3D and you want to bring it in in that format. So, what do you do? Well, they have tools for that. You set up a developer account. Let's see if it's on here or is it on a different page? Um, I was, so, by the way, if you when you create apps for, for, for Leia, for Luma Pad, Loom Pad, you can actually sell them, and when I go to my dashboard, so this is a potential other income stream, and here's your de documentation. Oh, you're not seeing it. Well, let me go back. Um, so this is your dashboard, and you can see another income stream if you create apps and content for this device. Here is all your documentation, and what's cool is they have they have an SDK and tools for for Unity for Unreal. Unity is the one they're more partnered with, um, and they go through that. And I'm starting to look at this. Um, the other thing they have an Android SDK, which makes sense because this is an Android device. Maya plugin, a Blender SDK. Um, of course, we saw Lightfield Studio. They also have um, After Effects. They tell you how to do that. And um, they even have a camera SDK, WebGL. And of course, Cinema, which we've been looking at. Uh, it's not an S it's not a um, a tool it's more here is a discussion on how you're supposed to set this up and I'm gonna play with it it looks like you can get quite involved but uh, we'll see what we can do with that but uh, I I'm trying to get also the um, unreal SDK to work and uh, or the the Leah camera uh, they have a new version of the plugin for uh, the latest version of um, uh, Unreal for Unreal 5. And uh, so we'll see what we can do with that. But it basically is a special camera that's designed specifically to capture their stuff. So we're going to we're going to be doing this. What this does is it makes your um, your 3D content special. I mean, right now, your 3D content, it looks like a movie, right? Um, you know, in fact, they even talk about virtual production. This will allow people to see the 3D stuff in 3D stuff. Plus, you can also do things like take your favorite photos and convert them to 3D. Um, now, if you want to display 3D, the Looking Glass product is probably better for that use case. Okay. Um, again, what do, what you choose, excuse me, what you choose to get really depends on what your use case is. In my case, I'm 
I was getting kind of tired of my nine inch uh, old iPad and I and I actually this works fine for playing it'll play your YouTube vi videos you can even play them in 3D although most of the stuff I watch I'm not quite interested in that because it's tutorials but let's say you're watching something on a, a, a potential vacation destination may or something on nature then you you can take advantage of that and watch that in 3D and that's a very good use of uh, 3D, just like that's a good use of your, uh, you know, 4K monitor and so on. So, um, and then it does have a camera so you can actually take your four, take uh, 3D images. And I'm gonna try that with my little Chuck and uh, get, get him in 3D. Um, not that he knows the difference, but it'll be cool for me. <laughs> He's just like, what are you doing? Um, so anyway, um, there's a lot of exciting stuff we're going to be able to do with this. Um, taking the stuff we're working on. And um, I, uh, I, I'm actually, right now, I found a tutorial on a more modern way, a newer uh, node for doing the uh, RDB stuff. So I want to understand that a little bit better, but I, um, I think we solved the issue of double uh, having two explosions. There's some other little things that, um, for example, I noticed that stuff was falling through the bottom and on chunt. So we still have more, and that's of course one thing. Once I have that, then I'm gonna be able to take that and use what I've learned there to have multiple buildings. And I may have them in the background, which is what I think I'm gonna do. So it doesn't have to be perfect because it's not something that's gonna be the focus of the piece. So anyway, um, hopefully you found this interesting. Uh, I would take, a, depending on your use case, I would take a look at the both devices or whichever device you think is more appropriate for you, your particular use case. Um, this tablet is with the case, which is separate. And of course it's their case because it's designed specifically uh, for where they have stuff cut out and so on. Like any of these cases, you know, they're all in some ways specific to the device because there isn't a standard where we put the camera here and we have this cut, you know, the the, US, the USB here and so on and so on. But um, at any rate, uh, I, I think this is a, a cool little device. And like I said, it's $338 roughly shipped with a case. Um, it's certainly, uh, you know, a good price for a 10... Over it, was it a 10 inch, 10 and 10.8 inch tablet that will do all the normal tablet stuff, but will also have the, also has the 3D available to you. So anyway, hopefully this has been interesting. I think this, this technology, this light field technology, is very exciting, and uh, I think we're going to be seeing more of it. I think you know eventually we're going to see TVs doing stuff like this um the looking glass folks have a device for business presentations that's but it's like 20k okay so you're not going to be buying that and, and they're not going to be putting that on tvs or in tvs until it comes you know it can be done at an affordable affordable rate so that you can have the 3D, um, you know, for t the typical price of a TV, not, <laughs> I, uh, you know, most people don't have, very few people have $20,000 to spend on a TV. So at any rate, uh, we'll be seeing more of this and thank you for watching. Uh, take care.